All right, what we're looking at here is a homemade log splitter. Um, it's got. Uh, we're gonna go through everything that makes this baby work. Made this uh, whole thing for about 400 bucks. I've got a Honda five horse uh, pressure washer motor, which is nice. It's got a governor on it. And then uh, from there we go to the next end of the item. This, these parts here are called a half coupling. You have one that's the uh, size of your motor shaft and one the size of your hydraulic pump shaft. Um, I built this custom bracket to put the two together. However, you can buy these this bracket from Northern Tool along with the couplers. Um, the next item is the 11 gallon per minute Haldex two-stage pump. So when it gets under stress, um, it basically will go down to a you know six gallon per minute to create the flow, keep it going. Um, what I've done here is have I have the uh, tube here on the bottom. Um, I use tube instead of uh, I-beam like most people do, um, but that tube is also the reservoir for the hydraulic fluid. Um, I have the vent cap there. I have a filler filler cap here that also connects into the return line that comes out of the valve. Um, most people have their filter um, on the return line, but I thought, well, what's the point of that if all the stuff's already gone through your components, filter it out after? It doesn't make any sense to me. So I put it in the suction line, comes from the bottom of the reservoir up into the pump. Um, then you got this line here that comes out, goes into your valve. Um, this valve is set at 20, 2,700 pounds roughly. Um, it's a one-way detent. You got a detent adjustment there. It's at 600 pounds. So when you pull the lever back, it gets 600 pounds of pressure as it kicks it back into neutral. Um, then of course you got your hydraulics out. You got one that you know goes down to your ram. Bought this ram on eBay for um, just under $200. It's a four-inch bore, 24-inch stroke ram. Um, this log splitter produces. Um, about 17 ton, 34,000 pounds on a five horse motor. Um, so I, I get, you can see this line here comes over to the other end of the ram here. Um, and then this other one comes to the front of the ram, which be the part where it returns. Um, I basically took a half inch plate, there's a guide plate here. The logs also sit on it's, and I put a lot of thought into this. This is eight inches wide um, because, and then the the span between this wedge, this wedge is 12 inches tall. And the reason I did that is because if my log is wider than this this plank here, then I know it won't go in the fireplace one way. And if it's longer, then the gap that we have here between the wedge, if it don't fit in there, it won't fit in my fireplace. Um, welded the wedge onto the end. Uh, I, I must also tell you this is this tubing here that I use as a reservoir is also a very thick wall tube. It's a 5 16th wall, might even be 3 8 I, I can't quite remember. Um, and you know, I found that for free, scrapyard. Um, you know, you can usually get these parts pretty cheap. I built this whole thing for under $400. Um, I built the guide plates here. Use grade 8 bolts, three of them. Um, hold the guide plate in place on both sides so it has to stay relatively straight. Budweiser handle, eBay, $10. And the motor, like I said, it was a pressure washer motor, but I also got it for free. Um, just one of those things that you can pick up on KSL.com or other places like that. Um, let's go ahead and uh, show you in action. The, we're going to be splitting Chinese elm. And it's fairly hard wood to split, but this will do it.
with that one weight. there at the end that was that one-way uh, detent valve that you don't have to uh, hold it um, that's the log splitter there entire thing is just a little over six feet uh, it's yet to get a trailer wheels on it instead of this little cart uh, there's my lumber pile I did it all in about oh probably about two days two and a half days it's uh, 40 feet long and nine feet tall. Thanks for watching.